Okay, right now I'm preparing to dehydrate some okara. This is okara, and this is the pulp left over from making soya milk with soya beans. Okay, the okara itself has a very high quality of nutritional value, and as a result of that, it's worthwhile keeping and storing. I've got on order a form of blender which is totally manual and is powerful enough to grind up the soya beans and it's specially designed for making soya milk. Soya milk itself is the one of the raw ingredients or the main raw ingredients that you use to make tofu. Tofu itself is a high protein low cost foodstuff. Because of that it can give you bulk, it can make you feel satisfied, it can give you the energy to go through the day and it's therefore quite a good quality form of food. So essentially things to do with soy is something which I'm going to try and go into in greater detail once I've got that little uh, soya bean grinder and it's finally come through then I will demonstrate the process and I'm also going to demonstrate the kind of like the more off-grid aspects because obviously an off-grid blender is important because if you don't have power or you don't want power such as myself in the future if you get my drift once I've got all my equipment in place then I will be able to do all the things I want to do, create nut butters, uh, nuts milks and all that jazz as well as to in specific make tofu and okara. The okara itself even when it's just wet and fresh you can still stir fry that uh, and you know add that to all kinds of like baked goods as well. Uh, do, using okara instead of fish in fish cakes is um, quite a big thing and it's quite work recommended that you explore it. So it's, I think it's worthwhile for me to, on this one particular channel, talk more about okara and tofu and soy milk. And once I've got the uh, the soya bean crushing blending type tool thing, I will then do some more demonstrations. But this is just like the bottom tray of my Westphalia dehydrator with the okara in place. It's going to smooth that down, get that dried.